Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kendra here and I'm here with a real quick video for you. Um, today when I was getting dressed for the day, I um, was having an issue with my inventory. And the issue I was having was things were missing from my inventory. So when I went and looked at my inventory there's a number right here that gives you the number of elements in your inventory i kind of keep track of that and pay attention to how much is there because sometimes your inventory doesn't load right and you need there's a few steps that you need to take to um be able to get that inventory back but anyway today i was trying to put on a pair of sneakers and i went into my sneaker folder and i had a folder for a pair of sneakers but there were no there was nothing in that folder so i knew that there was an issue with my inventory so because i knew that i knew that you needed to clear your cash and that's what um i'm going to be showing you today this isn't something you do very often so when i realized that that's what I needed to do. I just didn't remember how. So what I did was I went to YouTube because that's what I do when I need to remember how to do something. And I realized that there were no current videos. The most recent video for clearing your cash in Second Life was seven years ago. So I figured I'd do an updated version of this tutorial so that anybody out there who's maybe new to Second Life or is coming across this problem and they forget how to do it, that it'll be a, hopefully it'll be a quick video that'll pop up and it'll be able to help you out. So the way you go and fix this is you want to go into your preferences menu. There's a couple different ways you can do that. The easiest way is hitting control P and that will bring your preferences menu right up. The other way is to go up to your avatar menu. And if you click on avatar down here at the bottom, you can go to preferences that way. And the easiest way for me and the way I get into my preference menu is I added um, the preference menu to my, my toolbar on my screen. I'm constantly going in there, so it's just an easy click for me. And the easiest way to do that is you right click on one of the buttons in your toolbar and then it, right here up at the top, it says toolbar buttons. If you click on that, it gives you all of the options for toolbar buttons. What you are looking for is this preferences button. It, the picture that you're looking for is the little gears. So you just click on the button and then you can drag it over to your toolbar. As you notice, um, around the perimeter of your screen, it kind of has that blue toolbar. So you can drag it to any of those. You can also drag it to the bottom. It, my toolbar at the bottom is full, so there's no extra space. So now when you go into your preferences, you want to go to network and files. When you go to network and files here, there's um, two tabs at the top. There's connection and then there's directories. And um, so you right here, it's your cache size. And there's a button here called clear inventory cache. All right, you click that and it will say, are you sure you want to clear your inventory cache? And you say, okay, I'm not gonna do it because I just did it and it could, it could mess with my system. Um, after you click that okay button, it will say that your inventory cache will be cleared when you log back into Firestorm. So which means you have to restart Firestorm and when you restart Firestorm, you'll notice when you open up your inventory, this number will be very low, but you'll see the numbers going up and up and up and up and up. Okay. And finally, the, the numbers will stop and you should have what you remember to be your normal amount of elements in your inventory. 
right down here. That should restore all of the items that were missing from your inventory back in there. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you found it helpful, click that little thumbs up button underneath my video. Doing that really helps my channel get seen on YouTube and my videos will get out to more of you guys. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to join me on all of my Second Life adventures by clicking the subscribe button. Um, I also have a Discord channel, so if you're interested in joining us over there, you can um, click the link in the uh, description down below. And that's really how I am able to hang out with you guys the most often. I can access it throughout the day, even if I'm not on Second Life. So it's a fun place. I've met some great people there. And I'd love for you to come join us over there as well. So uh, I will be coming to you tomorrow with um, a live stream. I decided that on Sundays, I'm going to do a weekend sale haul live stream every Sunday afternoon. I will definitely put notifications out on my social media. So if you follow me on Facebook or on um, my Discord channel, it always posts there. You'll, you'll be notified when I go live. Also, there's a little bell icon underneath the video that will also notify you when I go live. So hopefully I'll see you in the live stream tomorrow and I'll talk to you soon. Take care all. Bye.